We bring in General Philip Breedlove. It's good to see you, sir. Thank you. Um, I, do, you know a lot about the rules of war. This is something the U.S. military excels at as well. I'm wondering if you feel as though Hamas and Israel are being held to different standards as we watch the coverage. Well, thanks for having me on again, Leland. It's good to talk to you. I think the points were extremely well made in that previous clip. We see that anything that Israel does receives in extreme scrutiny. Um, we uh, seem to forget in public that using uh, innocent people as shields in war is itself a war crime. And this is exactly what Hamas does and what the, how they expect to fight. I thought it was very poignant you pointed out how much uh, supplies Hamas has stored up. Yet, have you seen any of that distributed to the people? No. Instead, the, the, the pressure is on the West to allow more in. And, and I think that Hamas knows they can't win militarily, so their primary purpose now is to separate Israel from those that support it by drawing attention to all of the plight of the people of Gaza, and they are responsible for the plight of the people of Gaza. Uh, look, it's tragic, right, for the people who truly are the innocent people in Gaza, because Hamas has a vested interest in making their life more miserable, so the international community will point to the plight of the poor Palestinians, for which Hamas uh, will not be blamed. Um, it's the worst of, of all situations. Just from a military standpoint, I'm guessing you agree with both the Israeli uh, chief of staff and then also the prime minister, their assessment and the White House's assessment uh, that a ceasefire only benefits Hamas at this point? Absolutely. Why would you work so hard to gain the ability and the advantage to bring this pressure on the true enemy, which is Hamas and, of course, Iran? And why would you then cease to sacrifice that advantage you have made? I want to play for you, Jake Sullivan, uh, not just about what Hamas is doing to its own people, to Palestinians, but to Americans, Brits, other Westerners who are currently in the Gaza Strip. Take a listen. The Egyptians are prepared to let Americans and other foreign nationals out of Gaza. The Israelis have no issue with that. But Hamas is preventing their departure and making a series of demands. Is there any rescue options for Americans that we don't often talk about caught inside Gaza? Well, Leland, of course, there are options. And this is about great nations like Israel and the United States working together to determine how best to do this. You and I have talked about this before. Israel has very good capabilities at hostage rescue. And so how are two nations uh, decide to use their tools to get after Americans, I think, is something that's being discussed behind the scenes. Um, but make no mistake, Israel has great capabilities and the United States has great capabilities. Yeah. I think we're going to see those. This is going to be a long war. Uh, obviously, we're used to wars in the Middle East, the Six-Day War, Yom Kippur, 13 days. Uh, this seems to be uh, likely to go on a lot longer. General, we will certainly be relying on you again. Thank you, sir. It's good to see you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.